a place where monsters lurk. This is the new warning being issued to parents about the popular gaming site Roblox. Called a breeding ground for predators, scammers, and spam bots, this famous kids platform is no longer safe, if it ever was. Roblox was founded in 2006 and soared in popularity in the 2010. It was marketed as a platform to express oneself through user-generated games and imagination. The platform receives 200,000 logins every month, with the majority of users ranging from 9 to 13 years old. With such a large subset of vulnerable players on the platform, this means they are highly susceptible to being preyed upon. Not only do we have to fear those lurking on the site, but we also have to contend with the darker side of the games themselves. One issue many Roblox users face is spam bots. They have virtually taken over the site. These are player-made bots that automate tasks. Spam bots join the games and leave as many messages as possible in the chat. The problem with these messages is that they include links to dangerous and inappropriate websites. The bots are highly complex, and despite attempts at verifying players through CAPTCHA, bots often slip through the cracks. Many players also find that while in the game, a bot will continuously follow and stalk their avatars, negatively affecting their gaming experience. Players can also use bots in a more pernicious manner, especially when it comes to the younger audience that frequents Roblox. Scam bots attempt to exploit and scam the younger users, even going as far as to use the war in Ukraine to extract financial gain. Although Roblox is meant to be a site for the most creative forms of self-expression, that creativity can often take the form of exploitation through someone's own twisted amusement. Some users try to stand out from the crowd by creating games based on real-life events to try to portray a lived experience. A popular example of this is the game D-Day, in which users can experience the Normandy landings of June 1944. But some games take things too far. Some allow users to recreate horrific experiences in history, such as infamous school shootings, which feature realistic screaming, blood, and gore. Roblox eventually expanded its community guidelines to try and crack down on this trend of games, but new ones keep popping up every day. Speaking of Roblox's strict community guidelines, which are in place to ensure a safe gaming space, Roblox itself has often gone against its own terms of service. Roblox's TikTok account has over 13 million followers, the majority of whom are young. The account shares videos of popular content creators and is usually mindful when posting, however, on at least two occasions, it has violated its guidelines. One of these videos is now the most viewed on the account. The video showed a female content creator flirting with other players using pickup lines and recording their responses, also termed rizzing up. The reason this goes against the terms of service is because Roblox explicitly states that players can get banned for romantic or flirtatious gestures or communication between users. In the video, another user asks the content creator for their email, which also goes against the guidelines which specifically state that sharing personal information like email addresses, real names, locations, and phone numbers is strictly prohibited. The outrage was further exacerbated when Roblox's founder and CEO, David Bazucki, released a statement in May 2023 that said, but in a distant future, Roblox could envision different types of experiences, like virtual dating for older age groups. The difficulty with this idea is that many users can lie about their ages and develop inappropriate intimate relationships. It also allows for the possibility of grooming, which has already been an issue for the site as seen in the case of Evan McConney. Evan McConney was 13 years old when he connected with a user named Hunter Floofy Fox on Roblox. The two bonded over a short period and before long were communicating via text message and other platforms. One night, Evan's mother, Heather, caught him using his phone after the family's designated lights out period and discovered inappropriate texts and images exchanged between the two. The user, Hunter Fox, also said that they had found a job in Utah and wished to visit Evan, pressing him for his exact location. Heather reported the incident to police and handed over Evan's phone, but this didn't deter her son. Evan and Hunter Fox resumed communication through Evan's family's VR headset. On Twitter, Hunter Fox even boasted of his relationship with Evan, referring to himself as a wolf and Evan as his lamb. On December 26, 2022, Evan disappeared a month after he'd met Hunter Fox on Roblox. Heather made a public appeal, begging Evan to come home. Thankfully, 48 hours later, 800 miles away in Nebraska, Evan was found in a car with his captor, 26-year-old Aaron Zeman. 
The pair were found at a gas station after the vehicle was reported suspicious. Aaron was taken into custody and later charged with kidnapping and resisting arrest. He is currently awaiting trial. Many users on Roblox have reported being exposed to predatory behavior, as well as inappropriate content like condo games or scented games. Perhaps one of the most infamous and depraved examples of uploaded content that slipped through moderation is the incident on October 1, 2017. A user by the name of Jared Pogi 123 Kaba uploaded a link on the popular Roblox forum. It featured a link that directed users to a web page on the Wayback Machine, an online internet archive. But the link revealed something disturbing and illegal. It was content exploiting minors. The link was eventually taken down, but for 30 minutes, users were exposed to the horrors of this illegal site link. The account was banned soon after, and in December of 2017, Roblox forums were permanently shut down. In December 2021, a mother contacted Scotland police after her son was exposed to something similar. The elementary school student had begun an online friendship with another user. One day, the user told the young boy to look something up on Google. The link he clicked on took him to an inappropriate website, which fundamentally scared the child. Scotland police couldn't trace the user's identity and instead posted a safety warning on social media about the dangers of Roblox and a warning to parents to keep an eye on what their children did online. Roblox has also come into the spotlight for being a hotbed of criminal activity, with some users plagiarizing original games and passing them off as their own. This usually results in thousands of hard-earned Roblox currency, called Robux, being stolen from genuine creators. Roblox was also the subject of a notorious hack in January 2023, one of the fourth most visited games in Roblox history, with 17,580,000,000 visits called Blox Fruits, was hacked. On January 9th, there were reports that the game's graphics were glitching. The hacker also took over the game's global announcement system, promoting their Discord. When players clicked on the Discord link, they were taken to a mind map exposing Roblox's developers' actions against an admin member. A hacker known as g 0 0 0 lan was responsible for the hack. It was allegedly an act of revenge against Roblox for firing Lucky Maxer, a Roblox admin who had illegally modified Roblox's script. This is not the first case of a hack within the Roblox community. Back in 2020, a search extension called SearchBlox was introduced to allow users to find specific players and the servers they played on. 200,000 users installed the extension. It was generally considered safe until an update took place in 2022. Players began reporting that their Robux and items were disappearing. They soon realized that SearchBlox had hacked into their account and had withdrawn the Robux currency. Allegedly, a malicious code had been added to the update which allowed a player's account to be used to make purchases. The hacker also traded players' items to an account named Unstoppable Lucent. The account used to store the items before they were transferred to another account was called CC Font. Both accounts were eventually banned after the discovery, and Roblox refunded the victims of the hack. Roblox's tragic transformation from a bastion of creativity into a nightmarish breeding ground for predators, scammers, and monsters is a stark warning to parents of the perils lurking beneath the surface of the digital world. The once-beloved Roblox has become a dark and depraved realm, a place where the monsters come out to play.